The Downtown Development Authority says they are weighing all their options to figure out what to do with the freight depot. Kayla Solomon spoke to the chairman who says they need the funding soon. For over 30 years, this freight depot in downtown Fort Valley has been left abandoned. At first, the city of Fort Valley wanted to step in and do something about it. But now Bobby Barnes with the Downtown Development Authority says those negotiations are at a standstill. There's an $856,000 grant that comes with a 20% match. So for every dollar that we spend, we'll get 80 cents back. Downtown Development Authority Chairman Bobby Barnes says back in 2006, the authority received a transportation grant that had to be matched by money from the city. But a few years ago, the city council answered. They were going to pull the money back or just didn't have the funds or for whatever reason. So that kind of put us in scramble mode. You know, so now we're trying to go find alternative financing. Barnes says after losing funding from the city altogether two years ago, they've had to brainstorm other options. One of the options Barnes says they're looking into is picking up the current depot brick by brick and moving it to the vacant lot that sits across the street. Moving our DDA office into here, a little portion of it, and have a little portion as a museum, you know, with pictures and all the old history of that. But Barnes says that is still expensive and knocking it down altogether would still cost hundreds of thousands of dollars for the old storage site for goods. Providers have been very excited to do this. They don't want to take the money back. They would love to see us do the deal. So they've extended deadline after deadline after deadline for us. Barnes says if they can't get funding soon, the depot will continue to deteriorate. I don't know if we'll ever be able to get another grant. If they said, well, we gave you one and you couldn't do it. Now, why would you ask for another grant? In Fort Valley, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. Now, he added that the freight depot made the 2018 places in peril list created by the Georgia Trust for Historic Preservation.